New tonight, awareness and knowledge. Two things police say can help you stop being a carjacking victim. That message shared tonight with a group of residents in the southwest suburbs. CBS 2's Jackie Kostek was there and joins us now. Jackie. Yeah, Brad and Erica, the sheriff's office understands that this issue of carjacking is top of mind for many people. So they're just trying to give them as much information as possible so they don't become victims. So we have every reason to be concerned and every reason to be demanding action. A full house inside the Tinley Park Convention Center tonight as the Cook County Sheriff's Office sought to arm people, especially seniors. How long does he stay in jail? With information. In 2021, we had 66 car thefts. And so it's, it's crimes increasing. Uh, they're working their way to the suburbs and we wanted to get the message out. I'm very concerned even when I do go out where I'm going to go, should I go, not to go, what to do. The sheriff's office shared practical tips on where to be on high alert. Residential driveways, parking lots, near ATMs and gas stations. The vulnerable situations to be aware of. Bump and runs, carjackers that pose as stranded motorists and leaving your car running and unattended and modern technology that the sheriff's office says to be aware of, like Apple AirTags that are tiny tracking devices. And they'll track you back home or wherever the thing is parked so they can steal it overnight. Rokon with the sheriff's office says using technology on your end can help you understand if it's being used against you. If you're in your car and you get a notification that your car is being, that, that there is a tracking device nearby, and it's not yours and it's not somebody else's that just got in the car, there might be a, a vehicle tracking device on board the vehicle. The sheriff's office urges people to remain vigilant in and around their cars. I don't want to live in a bubble. You know, I'm trying to live some normalcy, but I want to use common sense too. The sheriff's office says this is the first in-person carjacking seminar they've done, but the seventh overall, the others were hosted virtually and there will be more to come. Jackie Kostek, CBS 2 News.